Sneaker fam, what's going on? It's your boy Jake back with another real fake video. And of course, this is my real fake part two of the Kobe Grinch. Uh, because uh, I know the first video I had a really, really bad fake. Not my fault at all. <laughs> of course, everyone thinks what a lot of people think that I get bad shoes on purpose. But I knew what I ordered. I wanted the updated version of the Kobe Grinch. And um, they gave me a bad pair. And they gave me the first version. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Of course, everything seems to be updated and correct this time, of course, with the box. You guys seen my first review. This is the legit pair I got from the sneakers. Early access review, uh, early access. All right. And everyone's seen my review on both of these kicks and here goes the labels on both of course you guys all know box size will be smaller you can see it here boom boom let me go up on this just a tad bit yeah all right so everything seems to be correct of course ashy box small box y'all know how the replicas are going to be we all know that these are not legit pairs we got the nike swoosh all right, let's take out these kicks. I was very eager to see. Man, I haven't seen these Kobe's in a minute and these things. Wow. Wow. These things are sweet. These things are sweet, aren't they? Good gosh. All right. Never a fan of a, a Kobe shoes or his low tops. All right. Okay, all right. I feel the difference already all right i feel the difference already okay standalone they look good but um whew, compared to that legit my goodness all right of course this is a blind review like i always do and you guys are participating in this because if i see something uh, if you guys catch something that I don't catch, please do not hesitate and put it in the comment section. All right, so let's see what I can find. Right already, I see this has like an icy layer on it. You can see from the swoosh, and you can't see that here. You can see it's a darker swoosh here. Scaled. It looks like this, uh, this fake shoe is a lot smaller. You can see the toe cap. Mud guard toe box. You can see how this one has a point. This one's more rounded off. Very, very flimsy, as this one feels a lot sturdier. There's a darker paint here at the bottom on the fake. Like it's actually painted, and this one doesn't. This is like this is the actual plastic mold of it. I'm gonna bring that back down. How about that, right? Maybe move back a little bit. Oh, my light is here. Move back a little bit because it's pretty close. So let me move them back so you guys can see them better. How's that, right? Okay, sorry about that. It's late at night. I was watching the Heat game, watching the Heat lose to the Nuggets. And um, yeah, but there was a lot of drama at the end if there's any basketball, casual basketball fans around. All right, let's take a look at the Zoom. All right, let's take the proper shoe here. And um, definitely improved in the back. Um, I can't find much wrong with that back area here, heel, heel area. In the zoom, that just looks a little wonky on the fake here. Take a look at that zoom. And look how clear, nice and clean the zoom is on the legit pair. Take a look at the silhouette from the rear. Why does that fake shoe look wider and bigger in the back? And then the tongue. The tongue is a lot smaller on a legit pair. And look at that stitching here. Look at the stitching on that one, on the fake pair feel on the tongue. Speaking of tongues, 
Take a look at that Kobe emblem. Okay, we got the big tongue. The Kobe emblem looks. All right, let me show you guys something. Look how clean. That symbol looks. Now look at that one. Look at the paint. Look how flimsy that tongue is. Look at that. Not clean at all. Right there, let's look at the netting on the tongue. You can see the laces are different. It's a fake pair, legit pair. Look at the netting on the inside. Completely different. Completely different. And you can see the scales. I mean, it's an improvement, but when you look at the legit shoe, you see the yellow spots, and there's no yellow spots here on top of the scales. As you can see it here, and you don't see it there. Take a look at the medial side of the shoe. A little wonky here. And the carbon fiber shank. Feels more rubbery under here. Legit's at the top, fake is at the bottom. I mean, like I said, they did a, a, a good job replicating this. As you guys know, okay, you can see the front. Let's look at the toe cap here. As you can see the stitching here on the fake and you don't see anything here. As you know, uh, what they do is they take this legit shoe, usually de deconstruct it, deconstruct it, reverse engineer it. They find their own materials from China suppliers and then they design their own shoe. Let that be known. That's facts, okay? Facts. And let's take a look at this material here on the, uh, on the uh, inner sock lining, ankle area. Uh, I can't say much about the insides of that. Looks okay. Seven minutes in. Let's pull out the insole. I think, I don't remember if I was able to pull out the insole of this one. Let's see. I think it's glued in. Yes, these are glued in, so I cannot pull this out, and I refuse to pull that out. But you can tell the inside coloring on a legit pair. This is the fake pair. Just a different color. So that I cannot do. I'll take a look at the production dates but it looks like the lace bags are on uh, two different pairs. The lace bag is on the left shoe on the fake and on the right shoe is the lace bag on a legit pair. And of course, let's see. Okay, this has a more of a rope lace, rope laces, thicker. This is a legit pair and this is the fake pair. Different, just, just different laces, different color, everything. Get a real good look at it. Legit, fake. There you go. All right. I pull that away. Do a quick look at these again. This one's a bit closer to an extent. They tried to get the yellow on this one on top of it, but I don't think they can really replicate that. I don't even think all the legit Kobe's are like this. So I'm sure some of them might be different here. All right, I'll take a look at the back of this one and take a look at Kobe's signature. Remember you guys, help me out on this. If it's something that I don't see, is there a little slant on that one on it? Look at that. Am I seeing things? Maybe, maybe I'm seeing things, but this looks a whole lot wider. Um, I think it's time to start. Let's do some black lighting and some We're gonna weigh these bad boys, all right? Let's see what's going on. I think that's enough of the crazy stuff here. So let's bring out the trusty weight scale. Just drop some paint, it's okay. Trusty weight scale is out. Let's turn this bad boy on. 
Uh oh, what's going on here? What am I missing here? All right, uh oh. Come on, no time for games. All right, here we go. We're on. We're zeroed in. Legit. Kobe left shoe. Should be pretty light, right? One pound, 3.7 ounces. Unfortunately, they got the lace bag with this one. I'm holding that lace bag up as one pound, 3.7 ounces. So pretty much weighing the same if I'm holding that lace bag up. This one with the lace bag holding it up. One pound, 3.9 ounces. And this one, all these tags on it. I guess this means Max Factory, Max Perfect, whatever they want to call it. One pound, 4.2 ounces. All right. We'll turn that off. And it's time for the black light. So I black light this. And we can put this video to a close. And this is the closest you're going to get uh, to a legit pair of Kobe's. If this is your alternative, so be it. But if you want the real deal, just shell out the money, five, six hundred bucks, and you'll get a really nice quality shoe. All right. And, whew, nice and bright. All right, let's see what is different. Okay, so. We see that we got the icy, you see it's icy here at the bottom, icy blue that's coming through here. This back end looks the same. The zoom is glowing. You can see at this bottom part here is all green on the fake. So you see this here? That's all green glowing. Almost thought this thing was glowing in the dark. So this is the legit pair where it has that icy blue haze in there. Here and here. It's glowing real, real bright. And let's see if that Kobe emblem glows at the bottom of this one. And it does. Did a pretty job replicating that, I can tell you that. I'm trying to get as close as possible when they go to these uh, material suppliers. This is legit pair. Once again, you see that icy blue. And you pull this one out. I don't think I see any factory stamps. Anything here and at the back. It's a darkish, different shade of blue. So you can see it's two different materials. Or oh, that's the, the glue that's under there. That's glowing. It's just a lot of green instead of, you see that blue haze? You see the blue? And this one's just all green. Um, I'm gonna put the uh, black light on the uh, box to see if there's any factory stamps here. On the label or anything. And um, don't look it. And probably why is because they have their stamp here. So that's it. And there you have it. Real fake Kobe Grinches. That's it. What'd you guys see that I didn't see? Hey, just hit, hit up in the comment section, man. What's your take on this updated version? And check out my part one. And you, you guys all know that that was the first version of the Kobe Grinch. And then, um, but they put the new production date inside of there. Just like my bread fours, they considered those updated and they put the 2020 uh, in that shoot came out in like 2018, 2019. So you already know what it is, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Thanks for watching this video completely through. Please put that thumbs up in there to get this video circulating. I appreciate y'all. It's your boy Jake signing out. Peace.